Hey, what up, you guys? Big Rat 310 back at it. Um, I already made this predictions video, and I even uploaded it, but it's been uploading for three days. In fact, it's still there. It's still uploading, and something's wrong. So, and Raw just happened, so I understand that some stuff changed in my predictions. So I'm just going to redo this entire thing all over again. Let's start from the top. Before I get into review, um, I also predicted a fifth match. I thought for sure that would be Punk Regal. I predicted Punk winning, like he did, and then him fighting Regal in a rematch. But before the match, I saw CM Punk has entered into the Royal Rumble. When I saw that, I thought, okay, he's not going to win. He did win, but I think SmackDown's going to now get to pick their fifth match. ECW For the ECW title, Jack Swagger versus Matt Hardy. I like this match. I think it's going to be a good match. I really, really, really like Jack Swagger. I think he's the top. I just, I don't like giving him the title this early. If you look in the past, like, let me give you an example. Brock Lesnar, he achieved the fame too early, and then he wanted to leave because, you know, he thought he had already accomplished all he needed to do. And I want Jack Swagger to stay for a while, so don't give him the success too early. I know, like, CM Punk, well, CM Punk won't leave because he loves it here, but... Giving the title too early might cause problems, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> I see Swagger winning here. God, if they give Hardy back the title, Swagger might leave because of that. If they give Hardy back the title, Swagger might be so pissed he's just going to take off. <sighs> my, my predictions on that. Next one, Beth Phoenix versus Molina for the women's title. In my earlier predictions, the original version, I said that Rosa Mendez... Well, I know most people are saying she's going to accidentally screw Beth and Melina's going to win. No, I'm 100% sure she's going to help Beth win. And then Beth is going to say, okay, you were cute at first, but now I really don't like you. Please leave me alone. And then Rosa fights with her at WrestleMania like Trish did with Mickey and like Tori did with Sable in 1999. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm just so sure it's going to happen. I wish to go a different route. I know the Trish Charles match was good, but the Tori Sable really sucked. I've never seen Rosa Mendes in the ring, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe she could pull it off, but not sure. Um, next match. Uh, yeah, Jeff Hardy Edge. In my first predictions, I said the attack could be Jericho or Cage, but now I'm now I'm 99% sure it can't be Jericho because I thought Jericho was fired from Raw. No, he's not. Now he's back. Which I think was pretty stupid. That's just pointless. Why fire him? You're gonna rehire him a week later. What's the point? In that really stupid. Um, I'm starting to think they only fired him to give Orton a reason to put McMahon. God, I just that was really bad. But now I know for sure Jericho's not the attacker unless he does something stupid and gets fired next week. I'm really sure it's Christian Cage. I don't know why. I have a huge feeling. I have a feeling he's not gonna interfere in the match. I feel he's gonna present himself at the Rumble, and then on SmackDown he'll announce who he is. Um, Jeff Hardy's obviously going to win. Uh, I don't see his title reign being this short. They can't give it back to Edge. Not really. Hardy's got the whole attacker storyline going for him towards Mania. Although, I, I don't think that can go until Mania. I, I I used to, but now I think that actually that one actually might end at No Way Out. I'm not sure. Because I don't see that one going two months. Three months, actually. You never know. It might. But we'll have to see. JBL versus John Cena. Okay. I would have guaranteed with my life in the first predictions, because I like ROH Styles 23 series. Check them out if you haven't already. I really liked the prediction of Shawn Michaels accidentally screwing over John Cena and JBL winning the title and Michaels winning the Rumble and then fighting at Mania. But now after seeing Raw, I'm actually not leaning against it. Shawn Michaels sort of, he didn't turn heel, he didn't even turn neutral, but like, you saw that side of him where he tried to help, he tried to kick John Cena, but John Cena ducked it. He was actually helping JBL kind of hurt John Cena. So I don't think he would accidentally screw JBL anymore. Actually, you know what? They might actually end it at the Rumble. They might actually just have Shawn Michaels straight up kick JBL and have John win. And then fight at the Rumble. But we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with this. I'm not saying that it was bad what they did. It's just It's really confusing. Can't make a proper signal. Well, I, just, I, I don't see Shawn Michaels like... Getting upset and trying to kick C JBL and kick Cena. 
Because now I think he actually might be siding. I actually might think they might go reverse directions. Maybe they actually might have Sean try to kick Cena and actually kick JBL. And JBL fires him or something. Or tells him he doesn't want to work for him. And then they have a feud. I still believe they could fight towards Mania because they're both from Houston. Uh, uh, they're both from Texas. Just like how Austin, they think Austin might fight. They thought that, because I knew that Austin was thinking about fighting one last match at Mania because of his Hall of Fame. And it was rumored that he wanted to fight Cena. That's why I really thought that JBL would have won the title. But now, now I'm really confused. I'm really going to just have to watch the Rumble because I, I can't understand any of this. Um, next we have the Royal Rumble match. Like I said before, this changes everything. I really thought that there would be nothing, that no one really has the opportunity to win the Rumble. No one comes to mind. I don't think Triple H would do it. That's just really stupid to have Triple H win the Rumble. I thought the only person who could do it was Sean. And now, I don't know. I don't. The only way that that could have worked out was if JBL won the title. And now, now I'm actually leaning towards John winning the title. So I don't know how they're going to do that with Sean. But um, with Orton, I see Orton having a chance. Maybe Orton wins it. And then Vince takes it away from him. This is my theory. Maybe Vince tells him, yeah, you know, I could fire you like I do anyone else. But I want to kick your ass. And then they have a match of media. Like Vince did with Sean in 06. Which I even liked. You know, I know people didn't like it because <laughs> Vince didn't even fight. But I liked it. They used just because of the fact Sean is that good, he can beat up someone the entire match and make it. In fact, PWI gave it match of the year. In fact, I don't think it was match of the year. I still think that should have gone to Undertaker versus Kurt Angle in No Way Out. But you know what I mean. It was, he's that good. Just like I think John Sean can carry easily a match out of JBL in no second. Um. So I really can't predict who can win the Rumble. I used to, but now I'm really confused. It's just a little crazy situation. And it's probably going to be a surprise. Like I, like I said in my first predictions, there's only 18 participants in the Rumble right now. Last year, there was 24 before the Rumble. And then you had six surprises. Now there's 18. I know SmackDown still says send in their final guys. But they're not going to send in 12. Neither is ECW. I think they're both sending a combined total of five, six. So we're going to have some surprises. I predict Christian Cage being one of them. I don't see, off the top of my head, I don't see Christian winning. Actually, you know what? They could have Christian win the Rumble. And then have him announce that he's Jeff Hardy's attacker and fight Hardy. That's actually that's actually another solution they can go with. Aside from that, unless it's another really weird surprise, I don't know. I, I can't predict who's winning this thing. Well, um, check out Instant Classic 8, Ace Stun 08. Coffee Ninja B8, Radius 2X, Armin 10701, plug for the day. I'm trying to think of one. Oh, you guys might not know this guy. His name is Kyler187. I fight with him a lot. He makes, his videos are called Lame. He does do predictions and reviews, but his main thing is lame moments in wrestling history. He takes pretty bad moments in wrestling history, like, off the top of my head, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg, Hogan versus Warrior at Halloween Havoc. Um, Scott Hall no showing the turning point event and he has him like a really cool Twilight Zone highlighted Episode like a simple five-minute clip with words for each thing. It's, it's pretty good. I really like them Check him out. He is really good at making these videos. He's already made 20 and you're gonna enjoy every single one of them um, That's my review for the day. Please guys send in your questions for Q&A. Please subscribe. Please guys help me out and uh, That's me big rat 310 and I'm out Peace.